Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about deploying AWS resources to different regions at the same time using the same code uh, with, uh, with a tool called SEPTA and this one I'm going to show you how to do it on my AWS account called FAOSND one will be deployed in US West to region and the other one will be deployed to AP Southeast to region so this is the current state of the VPC in US West to region, Oregon. There is no VPC at all. I have deleted the default VPC and it's the same situation in AP Southeast to region. There is no VPC, which means there's there's, there's no subnet, there's no route table, internet gateway, network SEL and so on. So this time I'm going to deploy five resources, five different resources to each region. The first one will be VPC, and then on top of VPC, I'm going to deploy route table, network ACL, internet gateway, and subnets. The same thing as the one in AP Southeast too. So the code is looks like this. Uh, I divided it into different resources and then different accounts. So it's the same base code for different regions. Uh, the first one is VPC. This one, this one is the VPC code for this account called FAOSND. And it will be the same code to, def to, de to de deploy resources to different regions. And the difference between the regions is the CIDA block allocation, which would look like this. So this is the part uh, related with our deployment, that's the account FAOSND. The one, the CIDA block for US West 2 will, be, will use this subnet range 10.200.0.0/20, and for AP Southeast 2 will use this CIDA block 10.168.0.0/20 for the whole VPC. And the implementation for that is in the variable file for this one. So this is the variable file for US for AP Southeast 2 and that's the subnet definition for FAOSND and this is the variable file for US West 2 and that's the side block definition for the VPC and all the other subnets for that account FAOSND now let's do it first we're going to run the deployment for US West 2 I have scripted things out uh, and the way to execute this script is like this called that's the script with two arguments the account name and the region so let's start the deployment for US West 2 and I'm going to run the deployment for AP Southeast 2 in another shell and let's monitor the progress So this is the cloud formation for US West 2. You can see that it's starting to build the VPC and this is the cloud formation for AP Southeast 2. It's also starting to build the VPC. Let's check the progress. Yeah, VPC in Sydney is being created. We're starting to get tagged. That's the VPC in US West 2. It is created. Yeah, let's check the status of the cloud formation. Still in progress. Still in progress. Yeah, this one is completed. Next one should be started very soon. Yeah, Internet Gateway is being created. Yeah, it is being created still in detach mode in the detach state now it's attached let's check AP Southeast 2 okay PPC is done internet gateway and network SEL are being created even network SEL has been completed so let's go to network SEL yep they are there internet gateway is created and attached Let's check US West 2. Mm, 
internet gateway is completed network is still, still being created yeah it looks like they are there ok now it's creating the route tables for US West 2 how about AP Southeast 2 yeah route tables are completed Yeah, route tables are there. Creating subnets for AP South Southeast two. Let's check US West two. Route tables are created. Now it's creating subnets. You can see here some subnets are using RPP6 and some of them are not using RPP6 that's by design because those who don't have IPP6 are just isolated subnets which don't need IPP6 at all you can see here it should be the subnet within the allocated IPP6 CIDR block for that PPC, so the first 56 bit should be the same. So it's uh, 32460. Let's check the PPC. Yeah, 2460. That's correct. Now, subnet for US West 2 is created, and subnet for AP South 2 is also created. It's completed, and that's it. That's how you manage your code as efficient as possible to make sure that you can use the same code reuse the code to uh, for deployment to different environment or different region thank you for watching